Good afternoon. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I just wanted to give you a weekly update as to where everything was at in real estate in regards to COVID-19, best practices that have been implemented in the last week, and any changes that have been made to real estate as an industry in the past week. Two big changes have been made. As of last week, real estate was not considered an essential service, so we were limited in the way of showings. However, as of this past week, late this past week, we, real estate was deemed essential by New York State. That does not mean that this is business as usual. There is still COVID-19 and we still need to remain within um, health and safety guidelines when it comes to social distancing and make sure that we limit person-to-person -person contact as much as possible. And there have been a lot of um, parameters set by New York State and by realtors you know, as a whole to make sure that we are within that. So given that, two of the big changes that were made were as of last week, because we were not deemed essential, realtors could not go through a property and show it to their clients. We could not do as, as agents anything activity-wise, work-wise, outside of our house. Because we are now deemed essential, agents can go to a property and virtually show it to their buyers. So we can walk through a property with a buyer on um, video, FaceTime, um, Facebook video, or you know Zoom, whatever tool, virtual tool, tool may be used to take them through that way. So as an agent, we can still walk through the house. We just can't have that person-to-person -person contact of having our client there. It ha they have to be on video chat or a messenger in some way to take them through that house. So that's change number one. Change number two is that um, when it comes to listings, we have been taking listings since this happened. We have been still listing houses because there's a lot of uh, processes that are very virtual in the way of signings and um, getting, being able to evaluate properties virtually and go through the house with the client again on video chat. Um, that's been, we've, we've seen a lot of listings still coming live because of those systems that are in place. And we've also listed a lot of properties still because of those systems. That being said, because we are now able, because we are deemed essential and we're now able to do a couple of things outside of the house, one of the things that we're able to do is still take photographs and videos if we are not in, again, person to person contact. So that means that the house has to be empty, not, you know, vacant, not empty of personal belongings, but of any other individual. We don't want that personal person to person contact. But as an agent, we can go through and take those photos, take those videos, um, take any drone photography that may need to be done in order to get that listing live. So that takes that off the seller of them having to try to do that and, and manage that um, as, as we're getting the property listed. So those are the two big changes that came this week. Um, in general, real estate is still shifting. It's still, just like every other industry, adapting to the current climate, trying to make, make sure that we are in check and keeping everyone safe and healthy through this process. That being said, buyers are still going under contract. Sellers are still listing. Again, the process looks different and everyone's situation is different. So as I've said before, if you've thought about selling or buying, or if you're thinking about it, don't be dissuaded just because of the current climate. In the, in the, the way of deciding whether or not to sell, we just want to give you the options that you have available, give you the, walk you through the, the systems and the different outcomes that are likely to happen if you take you know, different options, and just provide you the education as to what it looks like right now, and that way you can decide what works best in your current situation. Because really, like I've said it before, everyone has a different situation and it's our job to walk you through and guide you through what's available to you, what options there are, how it will affect you, positive, negative, and then you decide what it works best for you. At the end of the day, we're just here as a resource. Again, we're here to guide you through this process virtually or in person, wherever the current situation will have us. And if you have any questions, we're here to help in whatever way we can. Thank you so much. I look forward to hearing from you. And if, again, if there's any questions, concerns, or anything else you'd like to discuss, please feel free to call, text, or email us, and we'll give you another update next week. We look forward to hearing from you, and you have a great day.